five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. It has been 45 years since NASA launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft into the solar system. And even though the spacecraft were only built to last five years, it's still traveling through never before seen parts of the universe. But now, this legendary spacecraft is starting to send some strange data back to NASA, and it has left many of the space agency's top scientists puzzled. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the strange data being sent over by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Let's begin. The Voyager program started in August of 1977, when NASA launched the Voyager 2 spacecraft to encounter Jupiter and Saturn, before making its way to Uranus and Neptune. A few days after the Voyager 2 was launched, its twin spacecraft, the Voyager 1, was launched as well. Both of these spacecraft were nearly identical. They weighed about the same as a small car, and the most important part of this whole mission was to launch them at just the right time. There was a unique window of opportunity that NASA saw in 1977, where the planets of interest were perfectly aligned for efficient exploration. During this window, each spacecraft could move from one planet to the other without having to deviate too much from its path. However, NASA intentionally added a 16-day gap so that the two would have a slightly different path. Because of this, in December of 1977, just months after the launch, the Voyager 1 flew past its sibling despite being launched at a later date. Ever since that day, Voyager 1 became one of NASA's most valuable assets when it came to making new and exciting space discoveries. Voyager 1 first started sending Jovian images back to the Earth in 1978 at a time when it was around 265 million kilometers away from our planet. A year later, the spacecraft spent more than 100 hours capturing almost 4,000 images of Jupiter, helping us create the first ever time-lapse that shows off the gas giant's rotation. A month after that, it became the first spacecraft to discover Jupiter's ring, along with two new moons. Its next journey was towards the planet Saturn, and on the way, it would have to slightly change its trajectory to avoid a collision with one of Saturn's largest moons, Titan. During Voyager 1's orbit of Saturn, it discovered four moons and sent numerous images of the ringed planet back to NASA. After this, NASA decided it was time to end the Voyager 1 mission, and while the Voyager 2 would continue its race to the ice giants of Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first spacecraft to do so, the Voyager 1 would begin its journey to reach the outside of our solar system. The Voyager Interstellar mission officially started in 1990. At a distance of about 6 billion kilometers away from the Sun, Voyager 1 sent back stunning images of numerous different planets, taking the first ever family photo of the solar system. At this point, the spacecraft had taken over 67,000 images, and with that, NASA's need for its cameras had come to an end. After this, NASA turned off the Voyager 1's cameras in an effort to conserve power. In 1998, 10.3 billion kilometers away from the Sun, the spacecraft passed by the Pioneer 10 spacecraft, launched by NASA in 1972. Up until that point, the Pioneer 10 had been the farthest man-made object from the Earth, but now that title belonged to the Voyager 1. It continued to expand its lead by quite some distance as it moved towards interstellar space. Even though its cameras were off by this point, NASA still had numerous instruments to communicate with the spacecraft. The Voyager 1 successfully exited the solar system and entered interstellar space in 2012, although NASA wouldn't have a public announcement of the accomplishment until 2013. It was now moving away from the Sun at a speed of 61,197 km per hour. Its sister aircraft, the Voyager 2, wouldn't leave the solar system until 2018. By that year, Voyager 1 was about 14.5 billion kilometers away from the Sun. It continued to send signals back to NASA that revealed more and more about what's inside and outside of our solar system. However, now Voyager 1 has lost some of its coordination, and it's starting to send some strange signals back to NASA. Most of these signals can't even be deciphered by some of the top scientists in the world, and it seems like the spacecraft itself doesn't know exactly where it is. The spacecraft has been pre-programmed to send a special alarm to NASA in case it ever becomes lost in space, and it's still perfectly capable of doing so. But despite the confusing signals, that alarm hasn't been rung yet. On top of that, Voyager 1's antenna is seemingly in perfect health, and it continues to communicate with NASA on a regular basis. However, NASA is now less confident about the reports that the antenna is sending. 
But for now, Voyager 1 is still capable of taking orders from the Earth and carrying them out in interstellar space. Considering the spacecraft was designed in the 70s, it's a testament to just how far-reaching NASA's technology has always been. Despite all that, NASA believes that the signals being sent from Voyager 1 aren't an accurate representation of what's really happening on the spacecraft. So what's really happening on board, you might be wondering? Well, NASA equips all of their spacecraft with a specially designed gold-plated disk. This disk carries special audio and video messages, in the off chance that it ever comes in contact with an extraterrestrial being. Some of the contents on the disk include over 35 sounds that are unique to the Earth, images of daily life on our planet, over an hour of Western pop music, and greeting messages from numerous former US presidents that have been translated into 55 different languages so that the aliens have a higher chance of deciphering some of the content. However, as of 2022, NASA scientists have dismissed theories that the spacecraft may be under the control of aliens. Voyager 1 has numerous safety protocol features that would be activated in case the spacecraft is ever in danger, but none of those protocols have ever been activated. To add to that, Voyager 1's antenna continues to point in the direction of the Earth. But everything being fine makes the strange signals being sent by the Voyager 1 even more mysterious. It has never sent these indecipherable signals before, even when it was in the same condition. So why is it that the spacecraft is now sending these signals when it's so far away from the Earth? Clearly, there's something going on. But according to NASA's project manager for the Voyager mission, this is generally on course for a spacecraft as old as Voyager 1 is. It has been in space for over 45 years at this point, and it's now at a record distance of 23.6 billion kilometers, or around 157.9 astronomical units, away from the Sun. The farther the spacecraft gets, the less reliable the communication between us and the spacecraft will be. To add to that problem, there's no reliable way of fixing the Voyager 1 if something ever goes wrong. NASA does not have the capability of creating a spacecraft that can travel into interstellar space to go to the exact same location as Voyager 1 and carry out a rescue mission in time. It's logistically and physically impossible. On top of that, two-way communication is now much slower than it once was. Messages, on average, take around two days to go from NASA's communication station to the spacecraft. This means that the risk of collisions and accidents has been drastically enhanced, and NASA's team may not be able to properly communicate in terms of emergencies. Despite all that, NASA is still hopeful that it will be able to fix the current problems that the Voyager 1 has been having. It expects the spacecraft to continue sending more and more information about interstellar space back to the Earth. The sheer distance of this spacecraft from the Earth makes any sort of communication at all, as delayed and unreliable as it may be, extremely valuable for NASA. For now, NASA is using this spacecraft to test the limits of its past and present spacecraft. This data will prove to be indispensable for all future space missions that the space agency carries out. However, there will come a time when the Voyager 1 is no longer able to communicate with us back on Earth, and with each passing day, the chances of an accident abruptly bringing the mission to an end are greater. So far, it has managed to outlive the circumstances surrounding it. That's a wrap for this video. How long do you think Voyager 1 will continue to send back data? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.